Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning. At what time it is? 5:30, and I am. I was gonna say, and I'm up. Obviously, <laughs> I have lots of things I want to accomplish today. Um, first things first, coffee. And I literally just got up about 15 minutes ago. I have to do a lot of the things that I do on Sundays today because obviously tomorrow is Mother's Day and we are going to hang out with my mom. Hopefully we're going, I, I, I can't remember if I told you or not, but in another vlog, we're going to the, something called the Dells of Eau Claire. Yeah, but it's not in Eau Claire, Wisconsin. It's in Anawa near Anago. So we're going there with my mom. It's kind of an outdoorsy place from what I understand with streams and um, big rock walls that I guess my brothers used to climb on when they were younger or something. I don't know. I've never been there. So anyway, should be some good vlog footage from that. So that's what we are doing tomorrow. And so that means today I need to do like my laundry, wash my brushes, da 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 da, all that stuff. I also need to film my um, bonus Sunday video. And I actually would like to get to exercise class. Um, I'm go started going back to the studio that I used to go to. So I go to step class on Mondays and Wednesdays. And then Saturday she has a class. She does something different every Saturday. So I'm not sure what I'm in for. <laughs> but I also want to be able to sit down and take a little break about 10 o'clock and watch Beauty Broadcast because she's doing it, Emily's doing it today. Instead of on Thursday, she wasn't able to do it Thursday, so that's what's going on. I'll bring you along. I will bring you along the way, and yeah, I'll check you in a little bit. So I have to show you guys. I was going. I'm just cleaning up like stuff on my counter here, and I was looking at this torrid. Get it out of the sun so you can see. Look how cute that is. I'm pretty sure I'm too old to wear that, but I just think it's really cute. That shirt. It's like ripped up at the top. I don't know. I think it's cute. I also like this dress. There's something else I like. Oh, and I like this whole look, which is interesting. I don't usually like that kind of juxtaposition, but do you see how that's like a varsity jacket, only the sleeves, well, that whole jacket itself is lace. I think it's really cute. I'm not gonna get it, but I think it's really cute. <laughs> so right now on my list, I am filling out these sheets. It's this Wednesday, or this Tuesday isn't the, the last week, it's next week, Tuesday, but I like to have these ready so that I can give them to my friend that is the teacher in the classroom because he signs them as well as I do. So I'm just working through them. I'm not going to show you the completed ones because they have people's names on them. But anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. And I am watching Lisa. Lisa, Lisa D1. Um, I don't even know what time is it. Let's just see. I got the sheets on here. Oh, it's 6.30. And I'll show you the other things I've completed on my list so far when I'm done with this. So breakfast time, I need to eat something, especially if I'm going to go to class. So I have some Greek yogurt, just plain Greek yogurt, frozen blueberries, like you haven't seen this 800 times. And then I, <laughs> the point of this was that I was at Aldi yesterday, and by the way, here, let me talk to you. By the way, they have all a whole new like gluten-free line. I don't think it's there forever. I think I've told you guys before, like if you go into Aldi and the, some of the signs there with prices and things are in red. Um, ink like red print that means that it's a special buy and it's limited times the gluten-free options that they're releasing them i think to kind of see how they do they do that a lot they'll do a special buy if it goes over really well then they'll make it permanent and if it doesn't then they won't so anyway they released this whole line of gluten-free stuff there was a whole like half a wall of it when we walked in there was some stuff in the freezer section like <clears throat> pizzas and waffles and stuff like that anyway I don't even know how I got on that tangent, but the point of this actually was that I needed some more honey because I had finished up that hard honey <laughs> that I've been showing you guys. So this was an organic wildflower honey. It's a product of Brazil, and I am going to use this until the farmer's market starts up, and then I can see if I can find some local raw honey that's not hard. It was just too hard. It was too much to deal with, especially in the morning for work to put in my yogurt. So anyway, that's what's happening. I'll probably throw some almonds in there too. Okay, and here's my list. A lot of you guys ask me what I do to be organized. Lists. That's what I do. So I clean the bathrooms already. I handled the septic checks. I did the certificates. 
Now I'm going to handle some thank you cards in the filing. Brushes means my makeup brushes. I'm behind. I norm I haven't washed them for um, two weeks because of last being gone last weekend, and they're a tad out of control. I thought I'd show you. I'm shaking things up. I'm going to have some walnuts instead of some almonds because I bought this bag. I hadn't opened them yet, so these are good for you. I think I think Tammy said these were better in the morning. I don't know. I'm trying, people. I'm trying. It's quarter after eight. Still making my way through my um, yogurt. But, clearly I'm not going to exercise class. I am going to go for a walk, though. But I thought I would show you to do this right here. Let me pause Marlena. <laughs> so, this kind of is a little filing thing that we have. that has all of our, like, bills and that sort of thing. So I was going through, and I have a pile over here. You're supposed to keep two years, I think. That's the rule these days. So I just went through and cleaned out and pulled out all of the stuff that's older than two years so I can shred all of that. And then I'll take it to work. We have something there that they take and then burn, which is kind of nice. So I have a pile of shredding that I need to do at some point. But so that's what I've been doing is working on all that filing. I have all of that done. I had to make a couple of new... You can kind of see that I have like... I don't want to get too close because... Come on now. Um, but I put like a little... I use a label maker... Here, I'll show you. This is my favorite little thing in the whole wide world. Um, I use a label maker, and then I label the middle of folders with what's in there, and then I file. And so it's very easy for me to go through and kind of pull everything out. But So that's what I've been doing. And aside from washing my makeup brushes, all of the things on my list are done um, on the cleaning, organizing, you know, kind of stuff of my list. Still working through my laundry, but that just happens while I'm having my day. And so the only thing I need to do is go for a walk, shower, get ready, film a video, and then, like I said, I want to kind of tune in to Beauty Broadcast for a little bit. And that's at 10, so I have an hour and 45 minutes, but I can tune into that while I'm putting on my makeup and stuff, and I can record the video after Beauty Broadcast. So, you know, and I don't have, obviously, I don't have to stay for, for all of Beauty Broadcast. I just really enjoy it. There's, it's a really neat community there. Um, people helping each other and just chit chatting. It's just fun. And I thought if I got up early and worked really hard that I could take, you know, an hour and I would have to kind of sit back and chill. So that's what I'm going to do. So I better get on it. Okay. So to recap, it's, I don't know what time, 9.30. I went for my walk. I'm back for my walk. I'm going to take out something to the post office box. It's really nice. The post it's not a post office box, it's my mailbox. So, look, at, can you hear? It sounds like spring. It's delightful. I had a really nice walk, a bit breezy though, um, but it was really nice. And I tend to try to go about 45 minutes to an hour. So sometimes I listen to music, sometimes I listen to um, videos. You know, it just depends. So yeah, now I'm gonna take a shower. And get ready while I listen to Beauty Broadcast Live. Okay, it is 11.30. And since I last, la last left you, last left you, I've showered, done my hair, done my makeup, watched Beauty Broadcast while I was doing all that, finished my laundry, made the bed. So I'm cooking along. Um, I need to actually cook. I'm making tuna salad. We're going to have that a couple of days this week. And what else are we having? Oh, just salad with grilled chicken on it this week. We're so boring. <laughs> you know. And um, and then I'm going to go film my video. I think I'm going to film my video first and then edit it and then um, let that convert while I'm making the tuna salad and cutting up vegetables for the week and that sort of thing. I have to get all of my stuff that I normally do today and tomorrow all done today since tomorrow is all about my mama. So I thought I would show you guys what I do for my tuna salad since I've been slacking on the cooking with Kristen videos. Um, I use one, what size is this, 16 ounce thing of peas. You could use less, whatever your little heart desires. I don't love peas, but I don't mind them in this, and Bob really enjoys them, and so there you go. Um, and then that's three cans of tuna that I, um, obviously took the water out of. I use tuna in water. And then I use one pound of medium shells. That is the... That's the recipe of sorts that I use, and that ratio of everything seems to be good. And then I just do 
um, a little bit of mayo, a little bit of pepper. I don't, I use a little bit of salt, but not much because there's salt in the mayo. And um, a little bit of, I don't put dill weed in that, even though I tend to put dill with tuna salad. Um, a little bit of onion powder. So a little bit, tiny bit of salt, good amount of pepper, and a little bit of onion powder. And that seems to make a delightful tuna salad. And I like to make it a couple of days before we're going to eat it, at least one day so that it kind of, you know, you know, I'm forever saying that. I like things to sit in their ju their own juices for a while. Not that there's juice, but you know what I mean. So that the flavor gets through everything. Let's take a moment for our weekly yay, I haven't killed anything yet. Look at these things. They keep, the, the new things keep appearing. And look, there's more here. I think there's more coming. Like here. Somebody told me this only, um, it's only supposed to last for a month or so, but I mean, this has been going since February 1st, well, no, I don't know, like middle of February, February to March, April, May. it's almost three months, my drying rack, <laughs> um, there's the plant, this is the peace lily, I, um, it looks a little droopy, but I gave it water just the other day, and I don't want to overwater it, so I'm not really sure. I think it might not be getting enough light now that the sun, where the sun comes in, has moved because of winter. So I have to put it in. I have to figure out a different spot to put it in. I think that's what I think the problem is. But it's still alive. I'm keeping a close eye on it. And this one looks delightful, except for this leaf. I don't know why. But yes, mm -hmm. I haven't killed anything yet. Okay, so <clears throat> film. I have filmed, I have edited, it is now converting, which as you can see, takes about two hours. I have my list over here of everything that I can copy and paste into the box once I upload it. It's a process, I tell ya. Um, I'm catching up on my shaytars because I'm a little behind on them, and I'm having some homemade canned peaches. Um, I, didn't re I didn't really want lunch. And it took me a long time to eat my yogurt this morning. <laughs> So maybe that's why, I don't know. Um, but anyway, it's about, I don't know if you saw this, a little after one. Bob should be home soon from work. And then, to my knowledge, we are going out on the boat. So there should be some boat footage. It'll be my first time on a boat in a really long time, I gotta say. I never went, I probably have like half lipstick on, sorry. I never really went out on the other boat with him just because when he goes fishing, normally, it was a fishing boat, it was a ranger bass boat. And it just was not set up for like, let's go take a drive kind of a boat. This one is a little more set up for let's go take a drive kind of a boat, I guess. I don't know. So um, I, I, I haven't been on it, so I don't know. <laughs> the boat's just always been his thing. It's just not something I've ever done with him. So it'll be fun. When he said yesterday, I don't know if you guys saw that in the vlog yesterday, but I was surprised when he said, when he said boat ride. I was like, what? Boat ride? <laughs> I had no idea that was part of the plan. So I'm going to take this shirt off. I just put it on for filming and put on something a little bit warmer. While it's nice and sunny in the boat, it will, it will be chilly. So I'm probably going to put on a long sleeve t-shirt and a windbreaker or something like that. But anyway, that is what's going on. And I did get everything that I wanted done except for washing my makeup brushes. And I don't want to start that now because I would be in the middle of it. So I'll either do that later tonight or tomorrow or something. I don't know. Tomorrow I need to film topic Tuesday. Yeah, but at any rate, I'm, I'm doing well. <laughs> In the grand scheme of things, the stuff I wanted to get done, I'm getting done. So Bob's home. Here I am. He's already driving me crazy. I have only walked in the door. I don't understand what her problem is. Mm -hmm. He goes. I, I don't get it. So actually, after he got done giving me a hard time, he's like, see, you should be vlogging this. Then they'll know. Yeah, mm-hmm. See, folks. Yeah, I... I'm not the nice guy that you all think I am. It's, he is nice, but sometimes he's not, which is why he gets a hard time for me, because he dishes out a hard time. I just do it conspicuously. Inconspicuously. Whatever. <laughs> see, but, see what I mean about the hard time, people? You started it. He comes walking and he's like, well, did you wash the sheets? Like, I can handle the laundry. I do it every week. I do my own. You do your work stuff. Well, 
90 percent he does he does um we kind of have the way it works is that where he works is dirty and nasty and so he uh he, the stuff that he wears to work, he washes himself. And so anyway, um, yeah, so he goes walking in and I was like, I've been a busy girl, I've done this and this and this. And he's like, well, did you wash the sheets? <laughs> like, don't I always, <laughs> I can handle, I can handle my list of chores. He's like, you want me to make you a list? <laughs> Do you think you're funny, Mr. Gabe? <laughs> oh, jeez. So this is the plan. Tell them the tell them the plan. I thought we were going for boat ride right now, but tell them the snafu and the plan. Well, it's just a matter of miscommunication. <laughs> oh, um, meaning you didn't communicate. I didn't communicate with my lovely wife. Yes, <laughs> I am taking her for a boat ride. However, we can't go right now because there's a tournament on Shauna Lake today that ends, I believe, at three o'clock. So. Um, and then they got the way in and all that. So before five o'clock, you're not going to get anywhere near the boat landing. So there you have it. So we're, we're gonna, gonna we're gonna have a little earlier dinner here. I got some brats and, and uh, chicken. I got to grill up some chicken for next week, and I got some hot dogs. I'll make a little. So green we're gonna have a little earlier dinner, and then we'll go for a boat ride. I'll make a little green salad to go with, maybe, or maybe. broccoli. We could have broccoli. Yeah, broccoli. Anyway. So, uh, the order of events has just turned around a little bit. So, you know, I just adjust accordingly. Just adjust accordingly. <laughs> we'll be back in a little bit. All right, folks. Oh, geez. It's, it's grilling season. First Actually, of all. grilling season is all year round for us. First of all, he comes in the house and says, well, aren't you going to vlog my grilling? Yeah. Well, <laughs> so. you know, it's, it's a special occasion. So, I just thought I'd show you what I'm grilling up here today. Um, like I said, it's grilling season. So what we have here... And Isn't grilling season pretty much all year round all for year us? All year round for us, yeah. yeah but, um, He's more willing when it's... If you look nice. at there's a quite a bit of stuff on here. I've got some uh, using or bratwurst here that have been on for quite a while. You know, brats you want to cook low and slow, according to my wife. So that's what I'm doing here. Um, because they're, they don't come pre-cooked, like the nasty gray ones that people get in other states. Right. And then I also have a couple of garlic... Um, chicken breast here from Aldi from Aldi and then there's some plain Jane chicken breast here and then you can see on the top I just threw on these are some sure make uh, uh, natural, natural casing case. wieners um, looks like a quite a bit of stuff on there for the two of us but basically what the reason I'm doing this is is the weather can still be kind of iffy this time of year it's beautiful today so we're grilling up a bunch of food and this will last us for quite a few days we've got tuna salad for next week so Tuna salad's not enough. We can pop a couple of these in the microwave. The chicken is for chicken salads. I can't pop any of it in the microwave, no, can Kristen I? Kristen has to eat hers or cold. Her cold or a different <laughs> way to eat hers up. <clears throat> we do have a toaster oven now that we could get hooked Yeah, up. we should try that. I should explain that. Um, so. so for, um, I have had, for any of you that don't happen to know, most people do, I had gastric bypass surgery. And for some reason, after that surgery, if I heat up something in the microwave, Meat wise, if I heat up meat in the microwave, it is all bad. It makes me really sick. Um, I can heat it up in the stove or like heat it on the stove top or something like that, but whew, particularly reheated chicken is all bad. So I usually just eat it cold. I don't mind. I'm used to it at this point. Anyway. I look at this grill. Actually, Kristen and I got this grill for our wedding present from some very special friends of ours. Yeah, you can um, tell it needs uh, to be cleaned. Oh, it's well seasoned. Oh, yeah. I just explained that to Tammy the other day. You know, like, I'm fairly certain Bob would say something about it being seasoned. Um, but for our, let's see, how old is this now? Well, okay. let's see, how long have we been married? We've been married 12 years in the fall, so mm -hmm. it's about 13 and a half years old already. Or not 13 and a half, no. 11 and a half, I'm sorry. Yeah. And it's holding up pretty well, actually. Mm -hmm. it was in the wintertime, I bring it in and put it in the garage. Just keep it in the garage so it's easy to get to in the winter. Yeah, and we do grill <laughs> all year round. Yep. And he doesn't then, generally when it gets and stays below zero, but right. But uh, and then in the summertime, pretty shortly here, in the next couple of days or so, I'll probably take it out and put it back out on the deck. And then it's really easy to get to, especially when the weather is nice like today. Yep. Yeah. So anyway, there you go. There's the grill and the griller. The master. I handle. Oh boy. Mm. I handle the side dishes. Yes, and she does very well. Speaking of. How about I go hook hook us up with some broccoli? Yeah, I think it's about time. All right. I think it'll be perfect timing. Actually. Okay. Right. So there you go. 
He wanted to make sure that I was vlogging all parts of the day, not just the ones I deemed important. Right. <laughs> all right, so I'm just gonna have, we're just gonna have some broccoli. I was gonna do a green salad, but since we're gonna have chicken salad later this week, I thought, well, I'll just do some broccoli. So well, that's what I'm gonna do. There he is, folks, Captain Bob. Boy, that is a fancy schmancy thing. What is that, fish finder? Fish locator, yeah. Well, I can pretty much rule the world with it. So you can pretty much rule the world with it. So this is the channel between Wolf River and Shauna Lake. True? Mm -hmm. We have friends that live right there. It's very pretty. We'll get some more footage later. Okay, so in the channel, from where we put it in to up that buoy up there, it's no wake, so you have to go really slow. This actually is a little bit of a wake, but this is totally fine. Like, not illegal. Not that most people follow it, though, huh? No. So, anyway, so we're just gonna go along here, and then if he goes fast at some point, which I'm sure he will, I will try to show you guys, but I'll probably have to put music behind it because the wind will be crazy. Crazy windy. Yeah. Right, right. You see the mallards? No. Yeah. Really pretty. Green, it's gorgeous. Pretty we pretty. did go. We did go fast already, but I decided to wait to vlog till we got to the lake. Oh, there's more up there. Because you have to really pay attention in the channel, huh? True story. It's because it's, it's relatively narrow and there's fishermen and stuff, so we would try to be careful. Of course, they didn't have the camera going when they took off flying. For the record, I love this house. I think it is so cool. windows and oh, I just love it. Love, love. I wore my fun shoes. It seemed appropriate. They look like boating shoes, don't they? <laughs> Bob just gave me a look. It's really like glass tonight, huh? Oh, here. I'll, once you get all open, it's a little choppy. The wind died down, though, from what it was earlier. Yeah, it's never like this when I go fishing. Of course not. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at it. The sun was heating up his melon, so he had to put his hoodie up. So Ready? this, my friends, is Shauna Lake. Shauna oh, Lake. here we go. Bob says ready. That means I better bend down the hatches. Got to get the weeds off the back. Yes, we're ready.
now what Bobby's playing with is his trolley motor and he's got a remote that he's pretty excited about. He had issues with it and he figured it out. Yep, I can use it with a foot pedal too, but this is so much easier. Oh, there you go. Where would the foot pedal go? Well, it's the foot pedal's in that store. Oh, it's like a thing that you attach to it? Yeah. Oh. But, nice. Uh, I just pull it out, plug it in, and it just sits right here on the floor while I'm fishing. It's such a pretty night. Just so pretty. This is going to be like the longest vlog ever. I'm almost out of battery too. Mm. Well, I took a lot of footage this morning. Mm, sorry everyone. For the record, I backed this trailer up into this. Didn't I? You did. I was going to vlog it, but you took the camera. Oh. Well, that's because I wasn't sure if I could do it. <laughs> What's that? Oh, so you can get in and out even easier. And not get wet. <laughs> nice. Very nice. Okay, so it's 8 o'clock now. And the reason that it's much darker is that we actually, we have, where I pointed out that we have friends that live on the channel there. Um, they invited us to come over and they were grilling out, but we had already eaten. So we just visited for, I don't know, about an hour, hour and a half, something like that. Yeah. And then, um, as they're about to eat, then we just, you know, just decided to come home. They offered Bob a second dinner, <laughs> um, but it was a lot of fun. That I very much enjoyed the boat, honey. Thank you. It was delightful. It was a really good time. It was a beautiful night. There was hardly anybody out there, so it was it was perfect. In this in the dead of summer, there would be a ton of people out there. Oh yeah. So we got, you know, it was a really nice night. That's when we can really take the boat out and throw it off. Oh, I see. Oh geez. <laughs> but it's funny because everybody that we did pass was really like looking at the boat. I was like, what's the deal? It's just a boat. And I guess I don't know the difference between boats, but because it's a new type of boat, you know, like people that fish regularly or whatever, I don't know, they could tell that it was something different. I don't know. Am I explaining that right? No. So anyway, it was funny because everybody would be like double taking the boat. It's funny. Anyway, so um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know this is going to be a really long one. I can tell by how much footage I probably have. We are headed home where I'm going to try to edit this onto a reasonable amount of footage. And um, yeah, we'll be back with you guys tomorrow for Mother's Day, but you'll actually be seeing it on Sunday. So as you're watching this, I hope you had a great Mother's Day. You want to say anything? Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for coming along. <laughs> All right, we'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.